So, I don't know if you've noticed, but the Olympics has been on quite a lot recently. But no, you probably have noticed because you literally can't take a piss without being told that the Olympics is on. I mean, seriously. It's on, we know. So you know, I wouldn't mind people telling me the Olympics is on 24-7 if it wasn't for the fact that it is on BBC One and BBC Two all day long. Plus, if you go on any social networking site, especially Twitter, you can probably look down your page and you'll find some sort of reference to the Olympics being on. So, really, I don't need to know every 10 seconds of my day that the Olympics is on because I already know that the Olympics is on. So the idea of this video wasn't to like have a go at the Olympics because I actually quite like the Olympics because it brings Great Britain together as one big country. I don't know if you've noticed but some Scottish people are trying to gain independence at the moment from, from Great Britain and the Olympics is something which has kind of brought it a bit closer and sort of shadowed that fact for a while. So up until a couple of days ago Britain wasn't really doing really well as a country, we were about 21st in the, the leaderboard which isn't great for the Olympics because we're usually about 6th or 5th or something like that. So what I was thinking back then was what could we replace gold medals with to make it so that people won more and I thought you know what let's replace gold medals with paid holidays because literally in Britain people will do anything for a paid holiday. So if you took the paid holiday and sort of instead of a gold medal you had a month's paid holiday you would literally have probably every British Olympian out there winning gold medals. Now that probably wouldn't be very good for our economy because then we'd have nobody working but at least we'd have gold medals or months holiday in the Olympics, so that would be cool. But luckily, because of the cycling and the rowing, we've, we've pulled ourselves back as Britain, we've got ourselves to fifth, which is really good because it really wasn't looking very good for us at all. And uh, big sort of thanks to Chris Hoy and Bradley Wiggins and the rowers and everyone out there because we've sort of, we've pulled ourselves back up from the ditch. Now, unfortunately, that does mean one thing. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but as Britain, well, now, mainly as England, as soon as we start doing well in something, we have this big hope that we could like do really well and win something. I'll give you a really good example now, not all of you will like football, but in the World Cup and in the Euro qualifications thingy, we thought we were going to do really well and we were like, yes, this is our year, we can win it, this is our year, we have a really strong team. And then we went out on the first round, so we did really badly. So I think what I'm trying to say here is Great Britain has done really well. We've got ourselves into fifth, and fifth is a good place. Especially when there's all them countries down the list. And we, remember, we are only literally like a little, little dot compared to like America and China and Russia and stuff like that. So seriously, don't get your hopes up for something brilliant because it might not happen. I mean, if you come in with the idea that we're going to do really badly and come last, then Let's face it, you can't be disappointed, so I'm not, I'm not telling everyone to think we're going to do shit, but just just don't get your hopes up too much. You lot, this bug's probably gone past your head, completely past you, and you probably haven't really paid attention to a lot of it, because either you've been doing other things, or I spoke too fastly for you to even notice that it was a vlog. So normally I wouldn't really have a video out every day, but it's August, and apparently I'm doing a vlog every day in August, so... I suppose what I'm trying to say is if you come back tomorrow there will be another vlog at some point. It might be really early, it might be really late. You can do what you want with this video, there is a like button down below, so if you liked it, yeah, press it because it would really help me out a bit. Comment in this section below. Finally, there's a subscription thing up above somewhere. So this has been me for my third day of Vader. Thank you and bye!